Hello and welcome to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Celasta, Crown of the Magister. Uh, now if you remember the last episode, we were making our way gradually north to this uh, new town called... Um, I can't actually remember what it's called, we'll have a look at the map in a moment. But uh, we were escorting this uh, Kithela character who we discovered uh, sleeping in an ancient sealed temple. Um, it's been about a thousand years or so, I think, since she was last awake, so everything's a bit different than she remembered. Now we're just going to make our way out of this area. This was a... Uh, she, she's pulled us into a couple of additional zones actually. Um, there was a an old prison, an old tower where we fought some orcs, and this which was a, a merchant caravan where we fought a couple of guards. But we want to continue our journey now. There's something up... there's some stuff up here actually. Uh, so before we go off, let's, um, let's see if we can open up a path to this chest. I just click on it. Can and no, none of our characters can get there. So we've got to work out a way of, of getting up there at the moment. Can we get here? I think we can. Copperon. That was the name of the town. Copperon. Yeah. Um, if we go over here. Now, can anyone get over there and shove that block? They can't. So let's just quickly cast a fly, a quick fly spell. We won't struggle too much just to look for a solution that doesn't involve this. Let's do... Uh, do our ranger. Right, and she's going to just quickly fly over here and knock this block down and we should be able to get over to this chest. And actually, while she's flying, let's uh, go and knock this over as well in case uh, we're not able to do that another way. <laughs> we knocked it on top of ourselves. Okay, that was a shame. Then he did six damage though, so it's not too bad. What have we got? We've got a bit of money, a scroll, some reagents, some darts, and a bit of food. So we'll take all that and we'll just stick the darts straight back in the box. We don't want those. They're not really worth any money either. Now I c couldn't see where the exit was from this area. Perhaps we've got to sort of travel a bit more over into this this part. Oh yeah, yeah, here's the exit. So let's let's go over here now. Don't think there's anything more to get over here. I might come back and investigate these other areas, uh, uh, you know, again, because I'm not sure if they're the ones we went to or if they're uh, just areas that we've discovered as we've travelled past. I'm not sure. So, but we'll we'll go to Copperham first, and we'll have a we'll have a look around at what's going on in here. Right, so here we are. Got a couple of quests. We've got to deliver a letter to the monastery, by the look of it. Um, I don't quite remember getting that, but presumably we've found a letter somewhere. Uh, there's a place to camp there. We're not... We, we rest, rested fairly recently, I think, so we won't worry about doing that just yet. Halt! Do you seek entrance to our fair valley? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> then go see Sergeant Nikonin in the guardhouse. It's an interesting performance. Clear skies. Stay in the light. Good day. I'm Sergeant Nikonin, officer of the day. What business brings you to Copperan? Well, Sarge, we found something of yours on our way here. We found Mine? something of yours on our way what here. Exactly? He's, here um, they are, Sarge. <laughs> he's sometimes channeling Michael, uh, yeah, Michael Caine Ash a bit, isn't he? Insignia. The man They're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Height. Broad shoulders, dark hair, and a broken nose. Am I right? Correct. You knew him then. He broke his nose after an exchange of views behind the barracks. Raoul tried to headbutt his basic training instructor. That was me. Now tell me, what happened to my good friend Raoul? First, please accept our sincere condolences. Thanks. Now tell me where, when, how, and who. Two days ago. It was a small camp in some Manakalan ruins. He was found almost dead by the caravan people. They tried to heal him, and then some travellers in the caravan rushed in to kill your friend and the guards Master Gala had posted. And no idea who those guys were? No, Sarge. They look like common mercs to me. <laughs> Did Roald say anything to you? It was too late for him. Dire news. Listen, go and speak to the Senard. 
Tell him everything. Who's the Synod? The Synod? The Synod is the ruler of the Vale of Caparan. And where is the Synod? You can find him at the town hall at this hour. Give him this note from me and tell him exactly what happened. Here, my signature on the letter from Gala. Take it to Master Warmheart at the general store. And here's a note for the Synod. Stay in the light. Is this Baron really a dwarf? Charming little town. Are there dwarf? I can't call a dwarf, my lord, can I? Mm. She doesn't like dwarves. Can't talk to Nikonin again. Um, so we'll have a quick explore around this town. Uh, I have no memory of ever being here. I, I probably, I'm sure I was at some point, but um, it's been a while. Uh, okay, there's a door I can click on there. Some guards in front of it. Is it listed on the... Ah, it's a locked door. What happens if we click on it? Keep out, strangers! They don't want us in there. Okay, so we can't, we can't open it ourselves. Perhaps we've got a... They'd be invited there sometime later. We've got a local cleric. We'll have a quick chat with her. Or is it a him? Can't tell from here. It's a her. Sun on your face, travelers. My name is Atina Bladeburn, priestess of Aaron. What can I do for you? We'll have a quick look at her services. I'm your powers. fairly sure it's just going to be the basic stuff, though. we have just recently sold a lot of our stuff, so we don't really need to sell anything either. Yeah, no, there's nothing, nothing there that interests us, I don't think. Yeah, if we go up here, I think we'll probably join up to the, where the front gate was. This is like a building. There's no door. I think we can just go straight in here. This might be the town hall, is it? Yes. Yeah, so this is the Cenar that was mentioned. So as we're here, we'll, we'll talk to him. Clear skies. Joris Nikolin says you have an interesting story to tell. Clear skies to you, my lord. Well, it all began when we came upon this caravan. Go on. Fade to black. Hmm. Military matters, I usually leave in the more than competent hands of the Baron. But Nikonin sent you to me. You see, he is a rarity in the Stone Fist Mercenary Company. The one old hand who was born here. We have known each other almost all our lives. He is the reason Stone Fist came to our aid during the Orc invasion. And he sent you to me... That's odd. Why did you come to Koparan? Uh, okay, well, we can't directly answer his question, so we'll ask about the, the Stonefist Stone Company. The Mercenary Company? Our military force, since they helped us repel the Orc invasion. Who's Stonefist? Gromnir Stonefist, founder of the Stonefist Mercenary Company. Okay. An Orc invasion? Happened about 15 years ago. Several tribes got together, whipped to a frenzy by a shaman. They hit us hard and opened a breach, got a foothold in the outer works, and were about to hit the town. Then Gromnir hit them from behind, and they were between hammer and anvil. That doesn't answer my question. Our current mission is to escort Lady Kithaela. Copran was the seat of her family before the cataclysm. And uh, Lady Kithaela is on a nostalgia trip? Far from it. One of her ancestors left family heirlooms hidden in the fortress. Among those heirlooms, we hope to find clues about the next stage of our quest. Old elven nobility, I am sure I have never seen you before, Lady Kathiela. So tell me something about Corporan that a newcomer or even a casual visitor can't know. In a side valley, there is an imperial mausoleum of Lanarak, home of the honored dead. What's Lana Arak? A very particular kind of marble. Very precious. The traditional stone for the honored dead. A place of remembrance? Yes. For the honored dead who fell in battle for the Empire. There is indeed an ancient imperial mausoleum in a side valley, sealed off since the fall of Manakalan. 
Not many know of it. Thank you, my lady. I am convinced. As for the rest of you, you said you were sent by the Legacy Council? We see a lot of Council agents on their way to the Badlands, and they bring a lot of rumors. So tell me, is there any truth to the rumor that the Sorex are back? Yes, and they are as nasty as legends made them. Can they truly possess others? Not possess, exactly. What they do is worse, if you believe the tales that the Paladins of Einar recovered from their archives. Do me a favor. Walk around our city, talk to the people. Then report your impressions to Sergeant Nikonim. Not a word about what you told me, though. Ooh, got an insight. Do you believe the Sorax are in Copper Ed? I'll say no more for the time being. Walk the streets, then see Nikonim. Meanwhile, stay in the light. Clear skies to you, Sinard. Okay, so it sounds like there is a bit of a mystery in the town. We've got a few things here. We've got to deliver a letter this to the monastery, and there's a bunch really of clues dirty. to find as well. I'm not sure if that's in the town or, or in another area. But we'll, we'll explore as much as we can here. I see this is a citizen with uh, an exclamation. I can't click on her directly, but maybe... Oh, here we go. I was going to say, maybe we can eavesdrop. It's rather silly, really, this young man. He asked me for a specific design so he could propose. So, he probably gambled the money away. Not him. Straight arrow. On the fast track to Sergeant Oriya. I asked around. So, where is this paragon of yours? Consigned to guard duty. A whole week. And that just on his return from patrol. Okay, that looked like that was the third clue we were after, looking at uh, our checklist down there. Just seeing where we came in. Yeah, so we are sort of circling back to where we started. There is there are a few more exclamation marks we can see. We'll just uh, we'll search all the areas we can, though. Don't think there's too much around there. Oh, there's another place in here. Looks like tavern maybe so there's again maybe we'll eavesdrop on this conversation sergeant when can i see my eric he is due some liberty lass i already told you he's assigned to guard duty a whole week of it and that after two weeks on patrol no he just doesn't want to see me anymore now lass don't you fret it's not that at all the old man has his whole patrol on guard duty in the basement ever since they came back. Hmm. Something's up. Whatever it is, it can't be good. So there's something going on with this patrol, isn't there, that went out and came back and now has been, hasn't been seen since. Um, again, if we come here, maybe we'll overhear what the bartender's saying. Mistress Mildred, the brewer wants to know when to bring the next delivery of ale. He doesn't want it to go stale. He has his reputation to consider. If only the Stone Fist had let his thirsty patrol out on leave as usual. But now, we've only got the regulars and the ale's not moving too fast. Take him two empty barrels and get two new. It's the best we can do right now. Okay. Be something strange going on. We can click on these doors, but I suspect that's probably only if we buy a room for the night, which we're not going to do right now. Oh, there's a general store around here. Wilf Warmhearth, so we'll have a quick chat with him. Let's have a little quest marker. Well, Mitt, what can we do for you on this fine morning? Uh, okay, if we have a letter Clear to him. Clear skies to you. Master Golden Tongue sent this letter. Of course, of course. Hmm, yes. Master Golden Tongue's instructions are quite clear. Here's your money, and here's a receipt to sign. Would you be interested in sampling our wares? Uh, we will. Let's just say that the Sinard sent us first. Sent us the quest to talk to first you. of all. Anything unusual in the last days? Well, the Baron came back with a bunch of prisoners. Highwaymen, apparently. I'm wondering why they didn't hang them on the spot. Hanging, eh? 
Would that be the normal practice? Yes. You don't need that many prisoners to make them talk, if you ask me. Okay, so that's another clue. I think there's well, just one more sign now. And what's he got? We'll break it down into intersections here. Probably just the basic stuff. Basic weapons. Basic armor. No, I think apart from Sabora, all our others wear medium armor. And I think they're, they're already doing... We've already got magical armor, I think. That's that's medium. What's um, the ranger wearing? She wears light. He wears medium. And he's got this... Yeah, so what he's wearing... He's already got like a, a plus one version of that, so that's fine. Not really much there. Or there. Or there. So nothing really. Never mind. We're more or less at the stage where we're going to be dealing mainly with the, you know, the faction vendors rather than the, the, the sort of basic vendors. Because we, we're going to be cra mostly crafting our own equipment unless we find good stuff. And um, these basic vendors don't tend to sell the, you know, the, the primed stuff that you need. Okay, so here we go. So if we go back round here, there should be uh, another conversation to listen in on. That enough? No, we get a bit closer. Don't mind us. <laughs> ha! The Senard's up in mad. Up in mad he is. The whole week he's been waiting, and still no meeting with the Baron. Well, that's weird. Usually they meet every day at least. Like an old couple, the two of them. I don't know why I'm explaining things to you that we both know extremely loudly. Right, okay, so what do we do next? We've got to go back to Nikonen. But I think there's a, there's a little area back here that we didn't get to last time. So let's just, we'll pop back just and have a look at what's over here. And then we'll go back to Nikonen. What have we got? Ooh, it's a mine. They called it a mine. Oh, got some scavengers. We'll have a quick chat with them. They might have a board up. Um, we've been on the road for a little while, so they might have had a chance to go and you know, get a few more bits and pieces for us to sell. Are you the local boss of the scavengers? Yeah, you could say that. Not bossing much, I'm afraid. We used to have adventurers raiding around here, but now just one. One? Yeah, she's around somewhere. You might run into her. We found an old Timarian monastery south of here. Yeah? Tell me where. We'll take care of it. Okay, so hopefully we can interact with their board now. We can. So we'll click on that. Okay, we'll show combat encounter places. Yes, yeah, so they've got a few here. Uh, they've got quite a few actually. What's that? Ball completed. So if we close this, we'll have a little bit here. <laughs> wow. Okay, we can actually make 1,600 gold here. Is there anything we want to keep, though? Let's keep the emerald. I don't think any of these are going to be magic weapons, are they? It's all just basic stuff. Quite a lot of it. Don't think we need the food. We're doing quite well for food. And some money. So, yeah, we'll, we'll sell all of this. And get nearly 1,600 gold in. Thank you very much. What does, how much do we have now? We've got nearly 3,000. So that's getting on for a good amount. I'm still thinking about, was it um, was it a belt or some gloves of uh, fire giant strength, was it? I've sort of got my eye on those. I think they were about 7,500, so it would be good to still save up a little bit more. And I think we've... I don't think we could go in the mine, at least not yet. And that door's locked. We've got... Oh, that's Nikonen. And Oh, and those uh, are locked. Those were, in the inn, they were locked doors, in fact, so that's fine. I don't know, we can tr fast travel back to Nikonen, so we'll just take the long way around. Can't click on him, maybe it's just going to launch in as we get close. Well met again. So, you've had a chance to walk around the city and hear what people are saying? So, what do you think? There's definitely something going on with the soldiers, isn't it? They, they came back from patrol and have been 
locked up. But then the, hi the same is true of this high woman. There's something odd going on there. Maybe we can choose both. Something is wrong. Soldiers back from a patrol denied leave. Posted to guard duty instead of visiting the tavern. Yeah, we can do both. The story with the high women is also weird. Why keep them prisoner? Normally the penalty is clear and swift. On the frontier, you don't feed She's always sitting people, on something that Cathay, isn't she? Like highwaymen. At best, you put them to work. At worst, they become fertilizer. There are two things I didn't mention in our last conversation. Things about Rull and the Baron. Uh, Rold was the uh, what dead about guard, wasn't he? Rold? When you told me of Rull's death and return his personal effects, I was speechless. Not out of grief, but because not a week before, Rold had come Ooh. back from patrol. <laughs> you mean one of them is not who he seems? Curious. What about the Baron? I've known him for 20 years. I was a founding member of the company. Now, for the first time in 10 years, I am officer of the day posted here, and that's not all. For the last 10 years, he's always called me Joris. Now, all of a sudden, it's back to Nikonin. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Suggestion, Sarge? The Synod mentioned your mission. He and I go back a long way. So, go to see the Baron and tell him your heirloom story. I know what his normal reaction would be. So come back and we can compare notes. And if I were you, I wouldn't mention Roald, the caravan, or anything else. Clear skies to you. Clear skies, Sarge. Messiah's laughing. Is she? Right, can we... I assume we can get through this... Uh, where was it? It was, was it there? No, it was here, wasn't it? I wonder if we can get in there now. I can't fast travel, so again, we'll just... Oh, look, the door's open. So we're going to go through and meet the Baron. The Baron's waiting for you. Okay, he's waiting for us. Just going to have a quick look in the courtyard, see if there's anything to loot. There's a little side door here we can click on. I wonder if we can open that. No. There you go. There's like a little jail down there. Can't open that. Okay. So it looks like we go up here. <laughs> I love that spider climbing. Yeah, not much to do here apart from go into this hall where we find the Baron. Greetings, adventurers. Sergeant Nikonin says you want to see me on some urgent matter? Yes, it concerns our traveling companion, Lady Cathayla. Then let her speak for herself. My lord, before the cataclysm, this valley was in the care of my family. Alas, only a few of us managed to survive, and none at all in the valley. A sad tale, my lady, but not uncommon. Those were dire times. My father passed away recently. Upon his deathbed, he mentioned some family heirlooms left in a hidden room somewhere in the fortress. With your leave, my lord, I would like to search for this hidden room and retrieve my family's belongings. Out of the question. This is my castle, and all in it belongs to me. Now be gone, and be glad that, as a guest, you are protected by our customs. Otherwise, your impudence would land you in the dungeon. Well, he wasn't very nice, was he? Uh, Nicolin's just over here. He's obviously come in to find out what happened. Oh, she's sitting on something again. Ah, you're back. How did the audience go? Clear skies. Well, he didn't imprison us. Just threw us out. Just threw you out? That's not like him at all. Oh? He's not always so generous to strangers? No. Just pragmatic and smart. <laughs> sound quite doubtful about both those things. Smart? smart? Of course, smart. If we assume Lady Kithaela's story is true, then arresting her or coercing her could have drawn the ire of an elven clan. A pretty stupid move for stuff 
which might only have sentimental value, so not like Dromnir at all. Pragmatic? It would be cheaper to let you find the heirlooms under close escort. He'd demand a fee, but it's easier than having to search for himself. Fine. What do you suggest? Let me make some preparations. You go back to him tomorrow, as envoys of the Legacy Council. All right, so he's telling us we need to go and do a long rest now. He is a um, nice dwarf. No, not, not really that close to levelling up, so... I don't think we've used any spells either, but it's clear we've just got to, we've got to advance the story, haven't we? So, so we will go do that. Uh, no, that's the town hall. Where's the inn? Do, do, do. Oh, interesting. Um, it was here, wasn't it? I wonder if we can fast travel to it. We can. Let's do that. to the inn. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure. Get settled. Hmm. Um, don't need to do anything of that nature. Uh, we're going to go to the throne room. It is, it is like 11 o'clock at night, so... Yeah, we could rest again. Um, doesn't see much point. We could probably go back to the throne. If it's telling us to go to the throne room, let's just do that. Ah, we can travel to the keep now. Fast travel. Interrupted. Sergeant Nikodin, why are you bringing these people to me again? My lord, they showed me credentials that I thought you should see. Credentials? What do credentials have to do with Lady Kitaeya's claims? My lord, we are deputies of the Legacy Council. And the Legacy Council interferes in Copperan's affairs? Quite the contrary, my lord. The Council would appreciate Copperan's help. Why didn't you say so yesterday? We do not flaunt our allegiance unless there is need, my lord. Okay, I mean, she doesn't, but... A lady Kithaela has agreed to help the council in a delicate and vital matter. And what is that? Historical research. Those baubles have some historical value? We believe so, my lord. We wouldn't be here otherwise. Then why not just say so? Confidential matters are best handled confidentially, my lord. Hmm. Then uh, shall we search for these heirlooms together? I shall escort you, and we'll inventory the historical items. Then we can discuss a reasonable share for the keep. That would be more than fair, my lord. Then please, lead the way. Where should we start? In the basement, my lord. Let's go then. Nikonen, you were right to bring them to me. Now back to your post. Yes, my lord. So we're in these dungeons. This cell's open. Is there anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, and um, there is a way through there, though. And there's a way through here. Is, th is this so? Don't think that is. Let's see what's in here. Okay. That is actually open. We can go through here. a door back here. Ooh, with a chest. What have we got? We've got a dusty old book. A book that's not old or dusty. A bit of gold. And a dead cleric letter. So let's have a quick look at these. Dusty old book. Ooh, okay. So these are... Looks like there's a puzzle going on here. So it's saying... Wild Springs safe key code. It's got this uh, this symbol on it, and guest cell key, a different symbol. So that's quite useful. We'll remember. Try and remember those. Book. 
I'm not going to read all this. The early days of Copperan is extremely long. And I'm not sure how useful that is. But let's have a look at this dead cleric letter. Oh, holy twins, Kyrie and Juno, beloved of mankind. My time is now scarce, but my faith is strong. I bid you read these words of prayer. Know that with my last breaths I have laid low your enemies. Know that with my last drops of blood I have offered you sacrifice. Know that with my last words I praise you. I might need to remember some of the, the order these things are said in. Uh, life drains from me, though you are ever young. I die, but you shall endure forever. Let the last deeds of this mortal man be my final act of devotion. So, it's possible there's a puzzle, and, they, and that's um, a clue to the solution. But we'll keep moving through. There's something going on over there. Oh, here we go. The Baron's over here. Here. This is the place. And so near the dungeons. How subtle and fitting. Please, Lady Cadelia. <laughs> Before we inventory your heirlooms, there is something I wish to show you. You will find it interesting, hopefully. Is that what? the Baron? Now we shall all have a nice long chat together. I don't think he wants to and chat. And you will give me that crown. Right, okay. He's attacking us. Who's in this cell? Is that the... Uh, that's the actual uh, Baron, isn't it? So, got Marseille first. Oh, look, they've got little... Um, they've got blue glowing eyes in the, the little images. Uh, there they are. I suspect they're not actually dwarves. Let's move Marseille up and give him a couple of whacks with our weapon. And we're going to get to use that... Um, Doomblade Greatsword You'll for the first time like in this fight. So we'll see what sort of effect that has. Because I. Oops. <laughs> that was a misclick. Luckily, he missed the uh, attack. And we've run around that side of him for no particular reason. We probably wanted to be surrounded. Yeah. That's probably it. Who's over there? Oh, Nikonin's fellow is in. Critical miss. Right, now it's. It's Doomblade Greatsword time, so let's go here and we'll put a bit of extra damage on as well. Um, they're not they're not massively tanky, but you know we, there are quite a few of them. Give them a hit. Let's just see how much base damage it does. So that was Twelve slashing, one radiant. There wasn't a mention of the necrotic damage, was it? It says, oh, look, if you look at, if you hit him, it says Sorak Infiltrator. It doesn't say Baron. <laughs> we'll smite this time. Yeah, so. Just have a quick look at this Doomblade Greatsword and just read the description again. Inflicts Doomblade cut. Say, oh, okay. So it doesn't. Need, it, it requires a save. It's possible that he just saved against it. So let's go back and, and have just have a quick look at that. Did he? Ah, here we go. It rolls a Constitution save against the great sword and succeeded. And he probably did that twice. Yeah. Okay. So that's why that that happened. So now where are the enemies? They're all sort of grouped here. It's Everyone's a little bit close. But you know what? It's like a lightning bolt sort of situation to me. I like this lightning bolt. So we can angle it so that uh, Saboring and uh, Marseille don't get hit. They both Another failed. Both at 31. Uh, so the infiltrator who was pretending to be the Baron is dead. And one of the guards is looking quite ill. So. What I might do with our bonus uh, action is I conjure. I wonder what happens if you use a higher level uh, spell slot. Let's try it. And um, can I position it up here to hit this? Uh, I can get it. Oh, here we go. Just I can get it here. Let's put it there. And we'll use that to attack the uh, crossbowman up here. 
think we can move or attack, so unfortunately we can't attack this turn, so let's just move up to him. Yeah, okay. And with our action, we probably can't cast another spell, so let's just go over here and we'll, we'll take a swing at this car uh, copper and guard. That's battle! That's good. That's a miss. And we actually do get to control uh, Nikonen here. So there's a ladder up here. Let's go and take this other crossbowman out. With our friendly NPC here. We can't get too close. It hasn't got a ranged attack, it doesn't look like. But he does have this action surge. So if we do that, we'll get our action back. And... Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I thought we'd get our movement back. It doesn't look like we do. Okay, that's a shame. That's a bit of a waste. Still, I, th I think we only get to use him in this combat, so it's not going to really make too much difference. In fact, let's just dash him in. Can we still attack? Oh, we can. Okay. Well, that's all right. There's a little bit of damage there. Missed the opportunity attack. So what have we got? We've got one up there, we've got one here. She does have spells. Does she have anything at all useful? I think we'll try the shadow dagger. Didn't do a lot of damage, did a little bit. She has a bonus as well. Can't, I'm not gonna she's Ooh. Hello. Are these new combatants who've come in? They, I think they are. I think there's some Sorex have just uh, run in. So we've got a saboteur there. We've got a warrior there. And that, is that it? I think there's there's another one somewhere, isn't there? Oh, the assassin here. I don't like that. He's acting. He's going to act next before our, our next character goes. I don't want to take an opportunity Wait till to the next one. Not quite. Oh, it wasn't the assassin going, it was the warrior. like to go up and hit this assassin because they 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 can be quite nasty they go invisible and sneak up and uh, you know do I think they I think they crit if they attack from stealth so we're going to we're going to attack him here with our doom blade so he succeeded as well oh no that was for our hit I think okay so let's um we will smite and he now has the Doomblade cut, so he's taking necrotic damage each go. Does it? S if he's not, we're on his uh, picture. I don't. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. So it's described as bleeding, but actually it's uh, it's one d six necrotic damage at the beginning of its turn, uh, not the end of its turn. So that's quite important to to note. Do it again. We won't smite. I think. Take that. We've taken him down to only. Where is he? Four health. So it's possible, I think we've got an even chance really of, of him dying on his uh, the start of his go next. So we'll leave it there. That's our wizard. I feel like Joris could do with a little bit of help. How much health has he actually got? He's got 60. He's, a, he's quite tanky. So what I might do, I might do a scorching ray. And we'll give him. Why is that? Oh, he's unlit. Out of dark vision range. Okay. Well, I do want to help him out, so let's see if we can get a little, a little bit closer here. And we'll Scorching Ray. This uh, saboteur. We'll definitely put three in. How much health is it? He's got 22 health, so it, three might be enough to kill it. And we'll put one on this guard as well. 
Not bad, eh? We kill the guard. We didn't kill the uh, saboteur, but he's down to two health, so we should be able to kill him quite easily. Now let's move our spiritual weapon. I wonder if we can move and attack with it now. We can. Okay. Plonk. Not bad. And now with Fluffy. Let me just attack this warrior. Let's. What does Strike do? Boost damage. Okay, so let's have a go with that. He failed a save, so he's stunned. Did 19 damage and stunned him, so that's pretty good. Oh, he's healed. But it's uh, Nikonen's go now, so let's just attack this guy. Because he's right in our face. No, it's one hit, one miss. And a critical miss. I don't think those crossbowmen have done any damage to us yet. Um, what's he on? Eight health. I'll have another go with that uh, that um, shadow dagger, or whatever it's called. I think it's a yes, yeah, a cantrip. I don't know how much damage it can do, sort of at full strength. Failed the save. It took four, four psychic damage. What's the roll on that? It's um, it's a D8. So we could we. You know, if we'd rolled the maximum level, we, we could have killed him, but, but we didn't. New contenders. we got some more coming in. Um, let's have a quick look. Ah, yeah, we've got one coming in here now. So it's, it's a bit of a horde mode, this uh, this battle, isn't it? Well, let's bring Marseille round up to this side and, and take on this uh, warrior over here. enough? Yeah. We do. Great, so take him out in the one round. I think she gets a crit this time. Annoyingly. Still stunned, so he misses a go. Uh, so what's the boring going to do? Um, cause I don't know if others are going to come in. I might... I think we'll, we'll attack this uh, this Sorak while he's... I don't think he's stunned anymore. I think he, I think that was only for one turn. So he succeeded his role against our Doomblade Cup. You lose. And so far, you know, we've attacked a few times with that and actually we've only inflicted the uh, Doomblade Cup once, haven't we? So I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the weapon. It, you know, I, I prefer something that you know does guaranteed additional damage every attack, and it being a save, which does seem to be a fairly easy save to, to make. It's um, it's not quite as effective as I'd hoped. Right, we'll do another scorching ray. We'll do one on him. We'll do three on him, and hopefully we'll get both. And we do. I don't know if she, can, do these things provide any cover. They don't, so I'll just bring her onto the corner here. I'm not sure if other enemies are going to dash in. I think, but you know, at the moment we're just down to this other copper and guard over here. So I'll bring Fluffy a little bit closer. I won't bother with the spiritual weapon. That's too far away. I'm just wondering if I can see this guy with the guiding bolt. We can. So let's just do that. And there we go. That's it. And that, and that was the end of combat. There we go, survive the ambush, successfully done. Now we've got to free the real Baron. But before I do that, I might just have a quick loot of the various bodies. Some money that we'll take, and we'll leave the rest. I would quite like just to maybe invest it, because there's a chest in this one. Can we get to it? It doesn't have a door I can interact with. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. So, okay, let's uh, let's free the Baron first, and then I think we've got to do a little puzzle to get into the next area, and also this cell over here. Grunir, thank Einar, you're safe. Yes, I am, thanks to Joris and these adventurers, it seems. Thank you. 
Now, old friend, go see a Tima with Joris. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I knew you would say that. I am the Sainard, and you, you shall resume your duties. Only if our cleric says you're fit. Sounds like an old mother hen. But <laughs> no buts. I shall secure the keep and the valley till you're back. As for you, my friends, find Lady Kitaela's belongings and meet me in the throne room. Strike true. Okay. So, it's a similar puzzle that we used to get into the uh, the sealed temple where we found Kithaela. So it's given us the symbol there that we need, but what I'd like to do first, I'd like to get into that cell if possible. So we can see there's a sort of symbol fragment on each of these four stones. And I'll quickly look at that dusty old book. And to get in the guest cell, we've got um, it sort of curved around the sides, so like an upside down heart with like a, almost like an orchid or flower type symbol in the centre with something coming down. So let's see if we can put this together. Well that looks like the flower, doesn't it, that one. And then we have, so I think it's these two, I think if I do this one, and this one. Does that open the cell? It has. So we won't send them all around. We'll just we'll just select our ranger here and send her around to sort of make her way into this cell. I don't know if the spider climb will be useful. It might be. I don't think it's too far, I think it's just around here. What have we got? We've got a sapphire, we've got a jeweled bracelet that just looks like something to sell, a magnificent greatsword, so that looks like a magical weapon right there, and a primed scimitar. So we shall take all of that. And she can rejoin us over here. Right, so what do we do? Do we sort of unselect these two. Yeah. We don't need to go in the book again. We can see which symbol we've got to make here. So it's sort of got a bit of a pointy thing at the top, but it does still have these round edges. It's looking a bit like it could be these two. Let's have a quick look at these. Yeah. Okay, we'll give these two a go. What does that look like? Maybe we need more. So it looks. I think the ones we pressed are right, but I think maybe we need to add this this one as well. No, that's the wrong shape, isn't it? So we'll take that off. Is it this one? Aha! There we go. So once we search this next area, we'll we'll do our detect magic just in case that we find some other stuff that um, we can identify. Tell us, Lady Kataela, what did you find? A gem? This is my spell book. I remember. A wand, a robe, some money, as well as a piece of paper. What does it say? I don't know. There is only one word written on the paper. Adrastio. Is that another place? I'm not sure. I feel the pull coming back. I guess we'll soon be on the road again, then. More monsters to kill. Fantastic. What about <laughs> that door? Another secret from Imperial times? Okay, so what do we have? We've got a chest there. Just pop in here in case we find anything we don't. Click on the chest. Ooh, so we've got another bag of holding. It's not quite as good as the one we're wearing, but it will increase the carrying capacity of one of our other characters. We've got a primed breastplate, a primed longbow this time, a manual of healing recipes. So we'll take all of that stuff. And who should we give this to? If we give that to Fluffy, who's reasonably strong now. He's got those gloves of strength, I think, hasn't he? I bet they both have. But let's see, he goes from 342 pounds carrying to 513, so that's quite good. 
we're going to do a quick detect magic on this uh, great sword that we found because uh, after we open this door, I'm not sure what if we're going to go into a completely new area, if there's going to be a fight there or, or what. So let's just do this now. We'll identify. Probably a plus one. Yeah, there we go. Great sword plus one. We could do that again, just in case we found anything else we can identify. It's boring, got anything? Doesn't look like it. She's got anything else, and I don't think that either of these two have much of anything. Right. Okay. So instead, let's um, go into our crafting tab here. And we'll see if there's anything else we can build. So we, I want to build this white burn, but we need a prime short sword where we don't have at the moment. Um. got this longbow, we, we need the stardust. Uh, we, we can get that. When we return to the sort of main town, Kea Kiflin, we'll be able to get that as a quest reward. We've already done the quest. Or we find a cloud diamond, we could do this primed, uh, sorry, this stormbow, which is uh, an extra d10 lightning damage on every hit. Whereas the lightbringer does 1d8 radiant damage, so the stormbow is a better weapon. What else do, can we do? There's the Doomblade Rapier. We can't build it just yet, but uh, I'm not so sure about this Doomblade stuff. I, I, it's not quite as good as I was hoping. So you see something like the primed greatsword and the Stardust to make this Lightbringer greatsword. You know that does the extra 1d8 radiant damage on every hit. You know that doesn't. That's regardless of, of a save. So that's probably something that I'll look to build. These are plus ones. I'm not sure about that. That's just a plus one great sword. I need a prime dagger. So there's nothing really worth crafting for us just at the moment, despite the stuff that we found. Oh, okay, major gate. So that means we'll actually be able to teleport back to the um, main town. Captain Ironshell was right. This dusty old room. Yes, look at it. It's perfectly intact. It is locked, though. Oh. How do we unlock it? You need to use its name. It would normally be engraved nearby, but this was a private, secret gate. So, we can't use it? I know its name. This was my family's. So? Once you get me to my master, <sighs> I'll give you the name. <laughs> well, I guess that's fair. And then we teleport to Kerr Kiflin. Well, that's fantastic. I'm not sure the Sinard will want to wait. Then I'll give him the name. But you still need to stay with me. She's tough. But at least she doesn't sound crazy anymore. Watch your words, you... <sighs> Never mind. Right, so I think we have to make our way back through the prison now. So we'll just head back here. I might be able to fast travel it. We can, so let's just do that. Save ourselves a bit of time, and we'll head back up to the main keep. Cool, okay. Uh, so we're going up here, we've got to go to the throne room apparently. Go and talk to the Baron again. Lady Kitaeya, dear friends, words are not enough to convey my thanks. Your swift action has saved my life. And our veil. We shall be more wary of the Council's warnings. The Council warned you? Indeed. I thought they exaggerated, alas. If anything, they weren't loud enough. Sorax are real. You saw them with your own eyes. Their presence was a clear message. Be wary. Be careful. True. We won't let our guard down. How does this change your position? Do you plan to join the Council? Or simply to help us in our endeavors. We shall join. The discovery of the hidden gate will allow us to communicate swiftly. But enough about matters of state. The Sinard has the right of it. The only benefit of power is the ability to reward friends. And true friends of Corporan, you have proven to be. Thanks for your kind words. We feel quite rewarded. You are hereby granted permanent citizenship of Corporan with all associated rights, as well as free use of our rediscovered gate. The keys to the town, maybe? 
And these gems from our minds are well suited to holding enchantments. Go forth on your journey with our blessings. Many thanks for your generous gifts. May Einar watch over Copperan. Nice. Okay. So we've got some rewards for doing that, as you might expect. But we're going to have a quick look in our inventory now and just see what those were. Because it's possible that... Uh, yes, so I think the gem that he mentioned is... Um, a diamond of Eli, which I think is something we can use as a special crafting uh, item. I think we've also just scored some stardust, so that's good. We know we can definitely um, craft some stuff with that, so let's go and see what we can do now. But the only thing we can really do at this point is, uh, because we've got the primed versions, is light bring across a longbow. So it's the standard longbow damage, plus one, and plus 1d8 radiant damage, which sounds quite nice. Actually, I know we don't use a longbow all that often. Our ranger does use it when she can't, you know, get up close to enemies. But we know we're going to get another one of these stardust. So, you know, I'm, I'm sort of eyeing up this Lightbringer Greatsword as well. We, we still need the Primed Greatsword for this. For the extra radiant damage. I'm not <clears throat> I'm not sure, I having used it, I'm not sure about this Doomblade Greatsword. It just seems that, you know, it's, it's good in theory to get this re recurring, recurring effect, but, you know, it seems to be quite an easy save against it. And, you know, enemies aren't really going to be hanging around f for two, three turns that often. Maybe for a boss that might be good. But again, the, a boss is probably going to be able to save against that Doomblade cut quite easily. So, you know, I think having used it, I'm not so, not so keen on that. So what I will do, I think I'm going to start crafting this Lightbringer Longbow. So our Ranger will be able to use that. And then by the time we've been able to get a Primed Greatsword, we'll, we'll have returned to Kerr Kiflin and, and got our Stardust reward there. So, we're going to go back to the main gate now. Which I think it's just through here. Looks like there's yeah, there's someone to talk to there. This uh, someone called Bitterroot. I don't think we we didn't see them in the town when we were doing our sort of ex exploration earlier. So we'll click on them now, see what they've got to say. Right under our noses, eh? It's worse than I thought. I met with this fake baron more than once recently. Back home in Arkansas. Didn't see a difference. Nice to meet you too. Call me Bitterroot. So that's not your real name? It's the only name I need. Tell me something. Like Madonna. You're bound to the Legacy Council, ain't that right? I knew these badges would help eventually. Yes, we are. Interested in joining? Ever heard of Arwen Merton? He's probably marinating in some tavern in Care Kiflin. I heard the we beer there tastes like donkey if you be piss. So kind, I have something I'd like you to take back to him. A message. And a gift. Why not go yourself? I'm not going to him. He needs to come to me. He'd cheat on you or something. I'd rather not go into detail. What's the gift? A long sword. Not too heavy. He could do that. But what's the reward? Ah, real heroes. I can give you the location of a treasure. Of course. Everyone keeps a treasure map in their pocket just in case. It's a Manicallan building in the Badlands. The Arcanium wanted me to loot it. Headland's sure spell would pay a fortune for what's inside. But it's full of monsters. Too many for me. We could team up. I've lost a taste for adventuring. Do we have a deal? Yes, I think um, Fine. getting What's a location with some treasure sounds pretty you good to tell me. tell him he owes me a <laughs> child, and I'm waiting here in Copperin. All right. <laughs> okay. We'll tell him that. I wasn't Thank quite um, expecting Here's that. The blade. Oh, and the map. And a rusty old sword. Farewell, bitter root. That's fine. And um, having done that, I think we're going to leave it there for this time. Uh, when we leave... Uh, Copper ran here. We're going to be heading out into what is likely to be a, a new area. It could be quite a big area. Um, I'm sure, with lots of combat. So um, this uh, this episode is already getting on in length. So we will, as I said, leave it there. If, um, thanks very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this, then please do please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully, I will see you next time.